Welcome to another episode of Quick Tricks for the MC101. Have you ever wondered where to set your faders to get 0 dB on your outputs so that the samples you load in are played back at the same volume? In this episode, I'm going to investigate the gain staging of the MC101. There are so many different settings available in order to set the volume on the MC101 and the documentation on this isn't that great. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I've done to try and understand it all and then share my findings. The first thing I'm going to do is talk you through the setup. I created a 0 dB test tone using Audacity and then loaded it into Ableton and checked the peak meter. I created two audio tracks, one for the master output and one for track one and set monitor to both tracks to in. If you're not sure how to do this, watch my multi-track to Ableton video. On the MC101, I created a brand new project and then deleted all the tracks. I created a drum track on track one and then loaded my test tone on pad one. On pad one, I changed out assign to dry. I changed the attack offset to minus 100 and the decay and release offset to plus 100. I changed the voice to single and turned off the EQ on pad one. For the kit settings, to get the test tone to play consistently for as long as possible, I changed the attack to minus 64, decay and release to plus 63. I then turned off all MFX on track 1. I then turned off the MFX, reverb, delay, compressor and EQ on the master track. I then turned up the master volume to max and track 1 fader to max and played a note. In Ableton you'll see that the master volume is minus 18.1 dB and track 1 volume is minus 6.1 dB. There are two things you should notice straight away. The track 1 volume is less than the original test tone of 0 dB and there is automatically a 12 dB difference between the master volume and track 1 output. This is most likely to allow for some headroom to mix the four tracks together. In order to change this, there is a setting under project, settings, project level. The default for this setting is 100. You can see if I change this to 127, the difference between the master track and track 1 volume goes away. Another couple of things to note. The master volume knob only impacts the master volume and not the track 1 output. The volume fader obviously impacts both track 1 and the master output. However, the volume is still less than my original sound at minus 6.1 dB, even with all of my faders set to max. Is there a way to get to 0 dB? There is a pad level setting, but this has already been set to 127, which is the max value. The next thing I want to try is the note velocity. I set this to 127 by using the step sequencer and press play. I note that the peak output is still minus 1.98 dB. Under kit settings, there is a mix level, which is already at 127. I'll get back to this setting later. There is also kit level, which has been set to 100. If I set this to 127, you will note that I'm now 2.17 dB above zero. So with everything else as above, is there a combination of kit level and velocity which gets me to 0 dB? Here are my findings. With 127 velocity, kit level should be set at 112 to get minus 0.01 dB. With kit level at 127, velocity should be set at 112 to get 0.01 dB. I 
and then splitting the difference at 119 for both velocity and kit level gets minus 0.08 dB. So what's the difference between kit level and mix level? I'm not too sure, but I think they're pretty much identical. To test this, I set the kit level to 127 and then try and find the combination of mix level and velocity that gets me 0 dB. With 127 velocity, mix level of 112 gets to minus 0.01 dB. With mix level of 127, velocity of 112 gets me to plus 0.01 dB. And then splitting the difference again at 119 for both velocity and mix level gets minus 0.08 dB. So in summary, by default, your master track output is 12 dB less than your original track, and you can adjust this difference using project level in project settings. Wave sounds in the drum track played at 100 velocity under default settings with all the faders max are about 6.1 dB lower than the original sound. Maxing this to 127 velocity still gives you about minus 1.98 dB. And then finally, with velocity at 127, you need to set kit level to around 112 to achieve 0 dB. I hope you found this interesting and learnt about the gain staging of the MC101. If you like this video, press like and subscribe to T-Break Beats for more MC101 content.